Happy Tuesday. Welcome to your video menu. So we have a really yummy menu this week. I'm really excited about it. I've already had bites of everything. So uh, we'll start with the, the steak bites. So that's LBE Wagyu, uh, Brandon and Emily out of uh, Napa Caldwell. They, they raise um, and are the cattle and are amazing stewards of the land um, over some some roasted cauliflower that we mashed up and then some carrots and broccoli. Yummy. My son ate the whole thing, so none of the rest of us got any, but I did try it in the kitchen. It was delicious. You know, who all loves Dan and Sot? And you know, this is, uh, you know, I mimicked his uh, paella. I had it the other night with him and I'm like, I'm gonna make that. And I like it. I think it turned out all right. We got some chorizo from him and then we made the, we made the paella. So, I would put that in, you know, heat it quickly because you don't want it to turn into mush. So in the oven, on the stove top, something simple, high heat, quick. That's what I do. And this is also cooked on, more on the medium side to, to rare side. So um, quick again, just to bring it up to a temp. This yummy sweet potato cashew Buddha bowl with all those roasted veggies. It turned out just delicious. I just put a spoon in it, throw, you know, throw it in your oven, bring it up to temp. And put a spoon in. You can eat it cold too, I did, but with the weather we're having, heat it up. This is what I had for dinner tonight. The black bean burgers with this um, gochujang um, sauce I made. It's got a little bit of uh, sweet and, and kick to it. And with roasted parsnips and butternuts. So I would put these in the skillet or in the oven on a sheet pan, warm it all up. Or just put it in like that, pull the lettuce out though. Don't warm up the lettuce. Um, and dip it in the sauce good to go. Uh, ancient grain salad turned out yummy. So we're, this is a, a salad that has gluten in it. You know, we normally do gluten. We've switched to one of the salads being uh, an ancient grain salad. So farro is ancient grains. So if you, you know, prefer to be gluten free, you just have to let us know. We, we substitute, but it turned out really yummy. It's got some radicchio and some dates and some sauteed um, mushrooms with local greens. Green Wave, we love Green Wave in the winter. They grow hydroponics. Matter of fact, they I didn't get it on there. They, they make the um, the cilantro the, or the parsley that's in everything is, is from them as well. Uh, beluga lentils with roasted leeks and roasted Roma tomatoes with arugula with a balsamic um, blue cheese dressing. Or is that on this one? I forget which dressing I made for which now, but you'll figure it out when you eat it, but it's delicious, whichever one it was. Okay, wild rice. Oh, so my mom gets this rice from one of her friends and then ships it to me from Chalice. Um, it's just delicious with the kale. It's it's vegan. It's actually a coconut milk base. Um, I had this dream about this soup. I just wanted a kimchi soup. I wasn't sure what to do, but I think it turned out delicious. So it's an edamame kimchi soup with some noodles. Warm it up, super warming. It's got some, some heat to it with the ginger, but I really like it. Crudite, I don't know how Tracy managed to still make it all look beautiful still. Um, although uh, Green Wave Hydroponics is gonna start growing a lot of our vegetables for us, but for this, for so we can get it all year round, which is amazing. I always do a chimichurri when I do a meat like that, because you can go back and there, here, there, wherever you want. Artichoke almond tamponade. Salted mm. caramel chia pudding. That's for Tracy, she loves that. <laughs> and then baked apples, literally just apples with stuffed with um, figs and dates and, and apricots and macadamia nuts and just a ton of stuff and some coconut flakes and we baked it. And my, again, my son, he was like, can I eat that now? And I'm like, yeah, it's for you. So he ate the whole thing too. So I think that is it for the night. Thank you so much for letting us nourish you. Have a wonderful week.